With, take me back to when you were sick, okay? Okay. Uh, now, okay, take me back to... <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on now, hold on. <laughs> um, how did, how, when did you realize something was wrong? I, oh, when I realized after something was wrong, it, uh, I was just already really feeling really sick and I didn't want to eat anything and I was like, Maybe it's just like a bug going through and I just didn't feel good and I didn't feel like eating and then I woke up in the middle of the night having to go to the bathroom all the time. I drank a lot of water and I was like, okay, whatever. I woke up with leg cramps, like screaming in the night because it hurt so bad. And then I went to my mom's and I told her and she kind of had something similar going on. So we're like, oh, we're probably just sick, you know. And then I went to school on Monday. How about on Monday, right? Monday. And they made me run a lap around the track. And that's not very far. And usually I'm kind of like towards the front of running. I was the very last person to get done running. And it felt so hard. I felt someone like pushing me down. I couldn't breathe. I just like was, felt like I was going to pass out. And so I called my mom crying. And so she picked me up and was like, can you go to the doctor? And I was like, I don't know, maybe. And so we tried to get in and we couldn't. So we made one for Tuesday, the next day. And then we went to Panera. My mom noticed that my face was sunken in and I just looked really skinny and like awkward looking and I was breaking out all down my neck and my face and my back and my chest and so so she's like I don't think there, there's something wrong with you and I was like oh, I don't know maybe probably so and then to the doctor and we we're just waiting for some tests and I told her all my symptoms and then she came back with blood work and said that I was 526 <gasps> so it was really really high and so okay she, what's the normal supposed to be normal for like a normal person who doesn't have diabetes, is supposed to be 70 to like 150, around there, or 120, or 120, or 120 around there, yeah. and diabetics are supposed to be around 80 to 150, well, at least for me. So I was really high, and so they, I went, she got me right into a diabetes specialist, and so I went in there, and she confirmed that I had diabetes, type 1 diabetes, and and so she gave me my insulin, and she told me that I was two three days two, two days away from being in the hospital in a coma oh and i don't wait in the hospital and then a week away from being in the icu in a coma mm -hmm. so i was like right there and so I'm really happy that i caught it before <laughs> okay so kylie tell me how you felt when they told you you had type 1 diabetes well when they first told me i was just kind of like okay <laughs> Cause I was just really sick and out of it that I just wasn't that really in that mindset like I'm just like oh okay now what now like I had all this much to learn and so I kind of felt a little overwhelmed like the couple of weeks and I felt overwhelmed because I had to learn they took me out of school for a week because I had to learn everything about it I hurry and after like a week after I kind of started feeling better that really hit me that I was like I have diabetes and I'm like once in a while I'll, I'll lose it but no uh, it's just me I have to deal with so I got diagnosed on Katie's birthday. Oh, that's right. March yeah. 5th. Mm -hmm. All right. So Tell us about a typical day for you now. Typical day. Um, breakfast and lunch are like the same thing. And so what I do is I just get in my bag and I pull out. Well, I take out my strip and I put it in the meter until it turns on. And then the weight, or so I won't read my. And, so, and then I have to pull this lever till I hear it click. I put it on my finger, on like the side of my finger, not like in the middle because that's where it hurts most. And then I just press the, this button. And then I squeeze the blood out. And then I insert it in. And it says fasting before meal, or after meal, or no mark. So I will say after meal because I, and I'm 150. Is that good? You were what before your meal? I was 98 before my meal. So what are you doing now? What? What are you doing now? Oh, I'm taking, I, I wipe my blood on my little napkin and I took out the strip. Show us your napkin. <laughs> Look how dirty it really? is. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all your <laughs> Yeah. I have to keep one because if I just use one, it's just a waste. Yeah. So I have to keep one until it gets really bad. <laughs> Isn't 50 kind of low? It's 150. Oh, 150. Yeah. Isn't that kind of high? <laughs> that's, she's right in that range. Yeah. I was supposed to be 80, between 80 and 150. So oh, I'm like so. right on 150. So yeah, I'm fine. When, I, when I'm low, 
like when I'm about 70 I can still kind of feel it and yeah. then like it's really weird because like I'll kind of feel like I'm low and then I'll check it and I'm like oh I'm only 80 that's really weird um and it's not like so bad but I just feel like a yeah, little weird and good. then I'm like okay I'm fine and then the next like 10 minutes I'm like shaking because I'm my sugar just drops so I mean once it's kind of around 70 it just drops this is where I put all my needles I call it sharps we can't it's illegal my mom illegal yes. to throw away my needles in the trash mm -hmm. so we have to dispose of them in a special way which our doctor mm -hmm. will do for us so we fill this whole thing up with and, needles and then we pay the and doctor then we pay the doctor to get rid of it really yeah you have to pay the doctor oh, sorry mm -hmm. it's yeah. like 15 it's dollars like, or something like that yeah so i take this off i put it on and then i screw it on and then this cap just comes off and then i have to take off that and then there's a the needle and then i screw in whatever i need for insulin and then I stick it in my stomach and I give it to myself. I press mm -hmm. the button. And then when I'm done, I put the cap back on. Yeah, does that and hurt? I screw it off. Um, it it does hurt sometimes. It like some if I feel I feel like I've gotten used to my lower stomach, so that doesn't hurt at all. I don't feel it. But like sometimes I have to go everywhere because if I go one spot, I can get infected and things can happen. So I just have to go everywhere. And so when I, like, if it's just say if I go right here, sometimes it, it hurts so bad, and I sometimes I hit a vein, and it really, really hurts, and I get bruises all over my stomach, but that's the only really bad part of it. Oh, you're so brave, Kylie. Thank you. You really are. You, how, do your, how do your friends and people you go to school with, and your teachers or whatever, have you had any, are people pretty understanding about this, or do they just ignore it or do they ask questions or how how do they really respond to what you're going through um it depends on the person uh -huh. I've had some friends very caring and they're very um understanding and they're always there for me like oh I mean this you that and um they have some questions and then some other friends don't show any emotion at all they just kind of just like put it aside like they know I have it but they just kind of like I think it's just like a touchy base for them so they don't really talk about it, and then there's some people who don't really care, don't or don't or don't know, I should say, um, or don't they think they know about it, but they really uh -huh. don't. They're like, oh, you know. I mean, most people are very understanding about it. Mm -hmm. Can you? I can you eat? I, mean, I can. What can yeah, you? I can eat whatever, pretty much ever I want, as long as I cover it. I just can't have soda or. What juice. do you mean by if you cover it though? If I cover it with insulin, if I give myself a shot for it, I can eat it. Mm -hmm. Um, I just can't have soda or juice because it's fast acting, it has too much sugar in mm -hmm. it, and it can't beat my insulin. Mm -hmm. So it, my sugars will just rise, and that's really bad. So that's the only things I need to stay away from. Unless I'm low, I can have it. But if I'm not, I can't have that stuff. Now how about your, how about Jonas and Taya, who are only four? Do they ever watch you do the shots? Do they ever watch you with your stuff? Do they yeah, all the time. Then when I first got diagnosed and they saw me do it at first, they were so scared of it. They were like, oh, no, especially Jonas. Freak out. Start crying. Like, he freaked out. And I just, like, it hurt me because I, I don't want them to freak out or be scared of me. And but over time, their Taya is, like, all into it. Oh, where's your blood? I want to see it. Oh, you're strong. Oh. And she's all into it. And then Jonas warmed up to it. And so now he's fine with it. Now they're just kind of like, it's just a normal thing. And like, mm -hmm. once a girl, I'm like, oh, you're taking your shot, Kylie? And I'm like, yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, like, now it's, like, fine. Just, like, everyday life. For them, so yeah. What's the hardest thing about diabetes for you? Hardest when I see other people just grabbing and eating stuff when they just. So oh, tell us, give us an example of when that bothered you. Um. How about what the habit? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we went to the habit as a family, and it was kind of one of those days where I'm just kind of I was just kind of moody, and like once in a great while. I'll like my di my di my diabetes just like hits me, and I just like I just break down and cry. The emotion of it. Yeah, mean? just the emotion of it. And so that was just one of those days, and um, I got like I always when I always go to a ham like a hamburger place, I always get a protein burger, and that's where like it's no bun, it's just lettuce wrapped in you know around a hamburger ham hamburger, and um. I go I can't really remember exactly what happened, but I I got it, and then everyone just started eating. And, um, there was just, we got a couple of fries and a couple of onion rings and, like, everyone just started eating. And 
by the time I was already done, everyone was done eating, and there was no more fries. What do you mean, when, by the time you were done what? Getting my shots. So by the time I was done doing my Because you have to figure out what. Yeah. You have to my figure blood. out what you have to, your blood, uh -huh. and what, how many carbs you're eating. Mm -hmm. So after I had calculated every, of my food and my insulin, and I gave myself a shot and everything, everyone was pretty much done eating or halfway done eating. And there was like really no more fries or onion rings left, and I just kind of felt like no one really cared. Like, no, I know my family cares. I just didn't, they're not meaning to be selfish. I'm not meaning to do that. It's just a normal thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But now, if this is, I hate when people like that are at a party. Oh, we had a party, and there's just like candy everywhere and chips everywhere, and I was just like, it's grabbing stuff and eating, and they can eat as much as they want. And I had to sit there and take all this time and give myself a shot and everything just to have maybe a little handful of something. And, you, so then once you do that, you can only eat the amount that you've yeah. measured out for yourself. Yeah. Unless you want to give yourself another shot, yeah. right? And then you have and to, I don't really to get more food. Stuff. Yeah. So they, they can just eat whenever, oh, I'm hungry. I'm just going to eat a couple. Or I want a big old handful. I have to <clears throat> have a handful. And so, like, if I have, okay, I have this much, I have to give my this much insulin. insulin. And then other people are just like, okay, I have this much. And then they come back home and have this much more. If I wanted to do that, I had to be, like, shot. And then shot again. On the other hand, that's actually really good because you're not snacking like those other True. people. True. So that's when health comes in. Yeah. <laughs> good health. Yeah. Let me ask you this before we quit. Has there been anything, well, has there been anything good that has come from it? And what I say by that, I mean, I mean, I know you wouldn't want this if you could just get rid of it. I knew you'd get rid of it. But... I just know through my life, through the hard things, that, you know, different hard things I've gone through or different hard things I've seen other people, there's always that, that good that comes out in it. And maybe not right away, maybe it hasn't come yet. But have you noticed anything that is good from this? Yeah, oh yeah. Like, like maybe like first, maybe a couple months after I got diagnosed, I started like noticing things. Like, I think my attitude kind of changed. Like, I was like, okay, this is like real life, anything can happen. You know, also, it also helped me like, eat better so that's actually like another bonus and then it just kind of made me like realize to look in other people's shoes like mm -hmm. to kind of understand that people have the same thing like it's hard to explain but like just able to be understanding of other people's situations so mm -hmm. like I kind of don't really focus on mine and I try to find other people I haven't really found anyone yet like that has what I have but I try to just be like understanding and I'm just more aware of other things because you've gone through it, so you realize other people are going through maybe not that, but something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of times you wouldn't know. Yeah. And also my attitudes changed mm -hmm. a lot. Because I used to be very, because it made me very moody. Mm -hmm. And I, we didn't know until after I got diagnosed. And I was like, that explains everything. <laughs> so, I mean, I know I still have my lows and I still get pouty sometimes and I get mad. But, I mean, it's different. So, mm -hmm. my attitudes changed a bit too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Make your mustache. <laughs> your mustache? Yeah. Where's your mustache? I'm a mustache. Where's yours? Yeah, where's your mustache? And he's my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Okay, now like Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.